We have team coverage on this story tonight, and we want to know more about Jabri Bryan, who he was. Those close to him say Bryan had a promising future cut short. Carly Barnett joins us live from Hawkins Arena on the Mercer campus with more. Frank Laurie, I spoke with the athletic director who says Jabri Bryan always came in with a smile on his face. And even when he was suffering a knee injury, he always played hard and gave it his all at every single game. So who was number 34? He's remembered as much more than an all-star player, but also a friend, teammate, and a father. We're going to deal with it like a family. We're strong. Jim Cole, Mercer University's athletic director, says they lost a member of their family. To get that call was, uh, it was pretty rough. Jabri Bryan, who was just 23 years old, was shot and killed not far from campus. I told my wife and kids last night when I told them that, uh, you know, last time I saw him was, you know, sh shaking our fans' hands. Brian coupled his strong athletics with equally impressive academics. He was in his sixth year at Mercer working on his master's after earning a degree in accounting with a minor in management. And when not on the court or in the classroom, he spent time volunteering in the community. Brian was one of 154 players nominated for the NABC All-State Good Works team. Student athletes were involved with a charitable group and service. But before he was a Mercer Bear, he was a Benedictine military school cadet. Growing up in Savannah, he was an honor roll student and named MVP twice in his high school career. High school coach Doug Willett calls this a huge loss. In my heart, we, we've been cheated. Uh, I feel like uh, the world's been cheated with his loss. But we're, we're tight around here. We'll, we'll huddle together. We'll We'll, we'll pray and, and mourn together and, uh, and celebrate his life. Jim Cole remembers Brian as a fighter, playing hard despite battling a knee injury. But Cole also says Brian had a great motivator. He had a young son, and he would go get him every time and, and make the victory lap uh, here at home. Brian's team, like an extended family, all hit hard with the reality. He played his final game. He got in there and gave us all he had, and what more can you expect out of a young man? Where we are right now at Hawkins Arena is where a vigil will be held tonight in honor of Jabri Bryan. That is at 9 o'clock. At Mercer University, Carly Barnett, 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News.